Hey there everyone, it's Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the NautilusDryDocks.com and I got a follow up to my last video talking about waterproof servos. Now we put this little servo here through the pressure test. We put this in our test tank at a depth of two feet for one week and a one day. Took it out, tried it and it functioned perfectly. At my last dive tribe meeting, uh, people were like, well, yeah, maybe it's functional for now, but did any water get in? And obviously the only way to know for sure is to crack in. So uh, let's bust open this $50 servo and see what's going on. All right, here we go. Uh, screwdriver will pull out the uh, four bolts in the bottom of the servo this is a fairly standard setup for most servos but uh, in theory as this is supposed to be waterproof they should be seals around the base plate of this unit Let's see if I can focus on it rather than my face no Last one. All right, one, two, three, four. So this is what we've got going on inside for those of you that care. There's a rubber gasket and it looks like they also used uh, like some silicone or something around there, a sealant. I see zero evidence whatsoever of any sort of water ingress into that part of the servo. Here's the top. Nothing going on there. Um, so it looks to me like this uh, servo was waterproof uh, for at least a one week duration at two feet. And um, to all those people who didn't believe it, there's your proof. So there you go. It's Bob Martin, the RC sub guy, talking about waterproof servos. Follow up to my last video. I'll post a link to that one in case you're lost as to what I'm talking about. For now, I'll let you go. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.